Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Plasma and I like target practice. Today we're going to be covering a multi-point target system. It's actually pretty simple. So if I hit the bullseye here, I'm going to get two points. And so you can see in this chest I got two points. And if I take that out, if I don't hit the bullseye, I only get one point. And you can actually adjust the difficulty on this. So let's dissect it. I have how to build it below or what you need. So all we have to do is we have to use some comparators to calculate how close we got to the target. And so let's dissect it over here. So over here you can see we have a point that comes out of a dropper into our output. And no matter where we hit it, as long as we hit the target, we'll get that point. So we have what I call a subtraction difficulty calculator right here. And so what we're going to do is decide how hard we want it to be by putting what we want in this chest. The more things we put in this chest, the harder the difficulty is going to be. Um, just a quick review on how to determine the signal. So if we want to do a difficulty, so what the difficulty I did was a difficulty of 12, which means that I'm putting in, this needs to be on subtraction mode, the difficulty I did is 11. So if you hit 12 or closer, so if I hit about right here, it's going to be close enough and counted as the bullseye. And so if I kind of graze it, I count it as close enough. And that's 12. And so what I do is I, if you put 11 in this chest, then anything 12 or higher will work. And so to put 11 redstone signal with this chest, what you'll need to do is do the way um, the typical way of doing it, which is use an item that cannot be stacked. If you put one in there, it's going to be one. If you put two in there, it's going to be two. And after that, each additional two is going to be another number. So that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, that's ten, and that's eleven. And so I would put that many in there to cause it to be 11. And if you don't believe me, we can look, take a look at it. So if I were to break this and put this here, you can see that we've got a signal strength of 11 right there. And so let's go ahead and build it. So what we're going to do to build it, I'm going to come over here. We're going to come up a little bit. So all you need to do is place a comparator up against the target. And then we're going to put that into a dropper right here. Now this signal is going to be received by this comparator, which is going to determine whether it will fire based on how much is in this chest. You want to set it to subtraction mode on that one so that we fi find the difference. So in this, I want to put 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like so. And if you're not sure, you can do this to make sure that you have what you think you have. And then all that's left to do is to do your output. Put a dropper here, which will only fire if we get 12 or more. And do not put uh, hoppers right here. If you do, they're going to start sucking out of these droppers, and you don't want to do that. And so what you'll want to do is you'll actually want to run it up this way. Decide where you want to put your output. So let's say I wanted to put my output right here. And then what we'll do is we will put one, two, three, like that. And so you don't really need as many. It just depends on where you want to put your chest. And so that should be it. So now if I hit the target, let's go ahead and load it up with some points. And so if I were to, let's kind of use gold nuggets to put these in. And so if I were to hit this target and I don't hit it very close, I get one point. But if I hit the target, on the bullseye, or close to it, that was right on. I get two points. That's it. It's pretty neat, and you can configure the difficulty. So by changing it, so let's say we wanted to hit, hit the second ring, you could do it within... Let's, let's go ahead and test it. So if I were to take this off, let's watch this number. I think seven is going to be close enough. So if that's going to be nine, that's going to be seven. So if we wanted to do seven and have the second ring be it, what we could do is instead 
we say anything seven or greater. So what we want to do is we want to have six right here. So I could take this out and go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could take all these out. And now your scoring system has changed so that if I hit on the outside of that second ring, I only get one point. But if I manage to get within the second ring, I get two points. You see? You can hear it. And so now I've got three points in there. And that's it. Have fun with this one. It's really neat. You can do all kinds of things with target practice setups. But this should be fairly compact. It's very simple and quick to use. And that's all we got for this video. I've got some more things coming. They're pretty cool. And have a good rest of your day. Subscribe if you haven't. Talk to you later. Bye.